This morning, I'd like to share the word of God with the, our brethren outside of the country, DRC Malawi and Zambia. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, brethren, this morning I'd like to share the word of God with you very shortly. Uh, I'd like to remind you, my brothers, my sisters, time is not with us. The Son of God is coming very soon. This is a time for everybody to get ready. Now, the subject of today is going to be forgiveness. Forgive and forget. And you will be entitled to be ready to see the Son of God when He comes. But if you keep the grudges, and you fail to forgive one another, then you will be disqualified to see the Son of God. Amen. We're going to read the Word of God in the book of Colossians chapter 3. We read from verse 12. The Word of God read is, Since God chose you to be the holy people and love you ma and love you must load yourself with tender mercy kindness humility gentleness and patience verse 13 Make allowance for each other's fault and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgive you, so you must forgive others. Amen. Now, Paul here is reminding us, brothers and sisters, about... We need to have allowance in our heart because we as a human being, we are not 100%. Each and everybody he has got his own mistakes. And with your mistakes, which means you need to have allowance for each other to forgive one another. Amen. Now, yeah, if you fail to forgive one another, which means God himself as well, he cannot forgive your sins. On the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 23, the word of God is telling us to say, all of us, we are sinners, we have run short of the glory of God. So that is telling me to say, doesn't matter who you are, But surely you are a sinner because you are born on the sin. As long as you are born with the blood and flesh. So we need to forgive one another. And then we can ask, ask forgiveness from God and God, he can forgive us. It's a time for us, time for individual to sit down and Make inner inspection in your life. Remember your brother, remember your sister who has done wrong to you and forgive them and forget and have a reconciliation with them. Because failing to do so, my brother, you are not going to be entitled to see the king of peace. The king of peace 
which is Jesus Christ. He has forgiven our sins. Now, it's a time for us to forgive one another. If we come to the book of Genesis chapter 45, on verse 20, we find that Joseph, after his brothers, they have done terrible, terrible thing into his life. Joseph, he did forgive his brothers. On verse number 20, he even tell them to say, as are you going back to my father's house? Do not battle with one another. This morning, I like to encourage you, brothers and sisters, as we are facing this difficult, difficult time, which at the present moment we here in South Africa we don't even have opportunity to fellowship with one another. But it's a time for us to forgive one another and forget about whatever the other person has done to you. Amen. On chapter 45, verse 20, Genesis, Joseph, he was being rejected, kidnapped, being slavered, and being put in on the prison because of his brothers. But there we find Joseph, he forgave his brothers. And he has forgotten about what they have done. Now, this is a time for us, my brothers, my sisters, to forgive one another. My mild God bless you all. Amen.